Can I say something real quick? What a show this has been today. Uh, when Ruthie Carter walked in a second ago and do the right thing, Malcolm X, all the costumes that she's done, like legendary. And then Swiss Beats is somebody I've been listening to since I was a kid. His beat for uh, for Rough Riders Anthem for DMX was brilliant. On to the next one for Jay-Z. Did some great beat with Kend Kendrick Lamar, Busta Rhymes. That is Hollywood or ha hip hop royalty right there, incredible. You know why I don't seem phased? Why? Because this is how Good Day rolls. I know, it's but. It's just another day on Good Day but at wow. 10 a. All right. Rough Riders Anthem is one of the best beats of all time. All right, there's a brand new uh, Broadway show right now called uh, I Need That. It stars Danny DeVito and his actual real life daughter, Lucy DeVito, who's the daughter of both Rhea Perlman as well as Danny DeVito. Uh, obviously, her parents have had a very big career, uh, but Danny, now Danny DeVito is on stage with his daughter essentially every night on Broadway in a new comedy called I Need That. He plays a character called Sam, who's basically, as he's gotten older, he wants to stay home more, he hoards more, um, and he collects things, but then he gets an eviction notice, and it kind of turns things upside down for him. So I spoke to Danny DeVito and his daughter, Lucy DeVito. The cool thing about this interview is they had a show that the night of this interview at 7 o'clock, this interview took place at 5.15 p.m., uh, and you're seeing photos here from the actual stage show, I Need That. Here's Danny DeVito and Lucy DeVito from Danny DeVito's dressing room, which also apparently has a trampoline in it. Take a look. <laughs> well, thank you for, for doing this. Uh, I, I have to point this out to my audience. I've never talked to uh, an actor or actors before, right before they're about to go on stage. Yeah, it's yeah. it, it's 515 on, on the East Coast here. I'm in DC. You guys are in New York. Your show is at seven o'clock at night. What is normally happening in this time frame when you're not talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> like, <what's> the, Coffee. <laughs> you know, Coffee. having a little dinner. You know, so I'll get ready, you know, do some prep. Just, you know, I got a trampoline and this is my dressing room. I get, I jump up and down on it, get the, you know, get everything going. You know what I'm saying? It's like a great. Do, do some stretching. Yeah. It's do like, breath work. there's a lot of energy that goes into like that beginning, you know, just going out there on broad, on the Broadway stage. It's like, it's amazing. It's just so, it's so full of energy. It's just wild. You know, Lucy, one of the things I find interesting, uh, I, I interview a lot of actors, and one of the things I find interesting sometimes is when they talk about their kids, They uh, when their kids are younger, they, the kids don't even care or even understand what their parents are doing or at that level. And I was just, I, obviously, eventually they figure it out and know that their parents are actors or filmmakers or whatever. Do you remember the moment you found out or realized what your parents did for a living and kind of how special that was? I have a memory of, like, uh being out with him and my mom and that and getting pictures taken of us yeah remember like as a very young age and remember being like that's weird <laughs> um and and then like i you know i was I, I i was you know raised like on paramount you know so mm. you know it was it was sort of like a it didn't feel like extraordinary to me at the time but then you know I think looking back I'm like wow I can't believe that that was you know that I would just go hang out on the cheers set um, <laughs> after school um so I you know I think I, I don't know exactly like oh. if there's like a, a certain moment I, I I don't know I I remember one time watching my mom like uh like get an Emmy mm. on like she like we were at like you guys were there mm -hmm. and I was at home with the babysitter and we were watching and mm -hmm. the babysitter was so excited. And I was just like, yay, like, <laughs> honey, yay. I mean, that's mom, you know, um, I always like liked watching them. You know, I always liked being around it. We always like grew, we grew up going to visit them on set and stuff. And that was always like, um, it was a big part of it. You know, both of your parents being actors, you know, it's like kind of, part of the the daily conversation the older i get i turn 40 next year and mm -hmm. i i think about your character danny it's like i like to stay home more and more and more as i get older uh mm -hmm. i mean i don't know i like just to chill home i also collect a lot of things and hoard a yes. lot of things as well i mean yeah, I, I, I have 1700 movies behind me but that's because i like physical media yeah. is there something that each of you hoard or collect that would I, surprise people. That I really can relate to that, what you have behind you, because I I was in, you know, my DVDs and my laser discs and yes. my my VHSs yes. and everything like that. I love the physical, be able to go right off the shelf 
and say, you know, I'm going to watch this movie. I want to watch that. I want to go to that director or I want to go to that. I, I just take it. Yeah, there you go. Night, you know? Just <laughs> reach back and grab nice. Cuckoo's Nest. Yeah, I mean, Cuckoo's Nest, obviously, one of the one flew with the Cuckoo's Nest was a huge uh, movie for Danny DeVito. Right. I think he actually did the character originally on Off Off Broadway, I believe, and then it turned into the film. It uh, clearly went on to be a very masterful Classic. film. I Need That is available now on Broadway. Definitely, it's in New York City, just obviously to clarify that. Um, but the reason I wanted to do this is because when I was growing up, my parents would take me to Broadway yeah. all the time as a kid. My parents are from New York, so we would drive up to New York or fly to New York, and my mom would take me to shows like Phantom of the Opera or the producers of Nathan mm -hmm. Lane. So so that was really special to talk to both of them in their dressing room. What I loved about it yeah. was that I think that is the most happy I've ever seen Danny DeVito. <laughs> he seems so proud, yeah, right? Like I just know, so right? genuinely oh, proud yeah. to be sitting next to his daughter. Yeah, and he loved told it. great stories about twins. We'll do we'll air some more later on as well. So thank you, Holly.